not it lead to very some very awkward situations i'll give you another very example when abdul kalam died the next day they declared it a national holiday you guys remember that yes but my friend he still went to work i asked him to abdul kalam has died it's a national holiday why are you going to work and he was like macha in my office even if i die <laughs> they asked me to come to work mark half day attendance then go die very true fact no i don't like the idea of declaring a holiday when calamity is occur because when you declare a holiday that means there's a lot of idle men Hello good people this is Tanya here welcome you on the channel just like that and today i am here with a requested video from our new subscriber T R Balu Giri ji it's a stand up comedy by a chennai comedian Arvind AC topic on sundar pichai okay so before playing the video i'm giving you 30 second one second for subscribing our channel and 29 second to comment who sundar pichai is let me try your general knowledge time up don't start googling <laughs> okay now allow me to play the video okay observing of late amongst indians that uh, indians tend to over associate themselves some indians at least tend to over associate themselves with celebrities achievements way more than we should and i'll give you the best example of this and let's take chennai itself as an example how many of you here know who sundar pichai is please raise your hands don't know who sundar pichai is okay go home and google <laughs> that'll be a fantastic experience for you He's going to go home tonight. Open his laptop and type in Google. Hello, Google. <laughs> Who is Sundar Pichai? <laughs> Google replies saying, "My daddy." <laughs> For those of you who still don't know who Sundar Pichai is, Sundar Pichai is the CEO of Google. And the day he became the CEO of Google, not only did he become the CEO of Google, he also became every Chennai's distant relative. <laughs> Until then, we didn't even know he was from our city. <laughs> That's how shameless we are. You should have seen his Wikipedia page on the day he became the CEO of Google. In his Wikipedia page, in his bio section, once in half an hour, his school name kept changing. <laughs> at 11:30, I checked. It said Kendra Vidyalaya. I refreshed. At 12 o'clock, it said Bharathi Vidya Bhavan. I refreshed. At 12:30, it said Vidya Amir. I only added my school. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> so point being, according to Wikipedia, Sudhir Pichai has studied in 28 schools in 14 years. Oh. But I can understand. People are getting excited. Yeah, it's something. Someone has achieved something way more than they thought. They are capable of. They are happy. But media, media is supposed to be professional. Media is supposed to report this in an objective way, right? Media were the worst. I remember reading an article from BuzzFeed, which put uh, an article with a headline that said, "20 facts that will shock you about Sundar Pichai." I was like, "Okay, come on, shock me, shock me." <laughs> fact number one. Fact number one. Sundar Pichai's father was an electrical engineer from Anna University. Full stop. Where is the shock? <laughs> Which is the shocking part? Electrical part, maybe. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Fact number two. Sundar Pichai though was different. Despite doing a civil engineering, he bravely deviated the odds and took up a job in Google. Full stop. Engra <laughs> shock, eh? He did engineering and took a software job. Like one million other South Indians in our country do. Very true. This fact would have been shocking if it had read like this, which is Sundar Pichai though was different. Despite doing a civil engineering, he bravely deviated the odds and went on to become a civil engineer. You would have been like, <laughs> hey, congratulations, bro! And the worst was the Western media. When Western media started reporting this news, they have this tendency, which is that any time anyone from a third world country comes and achieves something in a first world country, automatically they believe that man's story must have been a story of rags to riches. Why? Because they only see one movie about us, which is. Slum dog mania. Exactly. Imagine if we judge them for American Pie. <laughs> What if we think all Americans will put their dick inside their favorite desert like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> so Sundar Pichai came from a normal privileged family, and his story had no drama. He just worked hard, and with his privilege, he achieved what he achieved. That's great. But that story can't be reported in America the way it is because the white man reading that and can't consume it. That has to be a sad story. It has to be a really dramatic story, which is why they'll start dramatizing aspects of his life, which were never a problem in the first place, just to make that story feel more third world. For example, New York Times and Washington Post put articles that day saying Sundar Pichai and three other members of his poor upper middle class family. <laughs> What 
is a poor upper middle class <laughs> in chennai we call that posh okay <laughs> they used to live in a cramped three bedroom apartment <laughs> what is a cramped three bedroom apartment <laughs> in bombay they call it a gated community <laughs> we are living in an age of misinformation we have to check each and every message the source the context and the agenda behind it if not it lead to very some very awkward situations i'll give you another very example when abdul kalam died the next day they declared it a national holiday you guys remember that yes but my friend he still went to work i asked him to abdul kalam has died it's a national holiday why are you going to work and he was like macha in my office even if i die <laughs> they last me to come to work mark half day attendance then go day very true Fact, no, I don't like the idea of declaring a holiday when calamities occur. Because when you declare a holiday, that means there's a lot of idle minds. Idle minds equals devil's, devil's workshop. Correct. Devil's workshop equals what's up over? Exactly. Correct. <laughs> Because when there's a holiday and there's a lot of idle minds, there's a lot of people who start to take WhatsApp out and start spreading shit on WhatsApp from their own phone with only one goal in their mind. You know what their goal is? They want to see if the shit that they started that morning <laughs> comes back to them by evening. <laughs> If they get it back, or kill, kill, kill. Same thing happened. Abdul Kalam died. The whole country is mourning. But my father had the gall to send me this WhatsApp forward of this pink animated heart emoticon that goes like this, with a text below that said, "This is the heart of Abdul Kalam." This is the heart of Abdul Kalam. He is still alive. Pass this to 50 people in the next five minutes. He'll be reborn in Rameshwar. I say, what? I call him as a daddy. Stop! Do not pass this to anybody. Because I was like, first of all, his name is Abdul Kalam. His name is Abdul Kalam, and obviously he doesn't believe in dreamer because he's a Muslim. No scientist. What's wrong with you? <laughs> This is why I said read the agenda context for every single thing. This is what they want you to see. Okay, that person next to him was like, "Oh, this is the boring guitar." That man was like, "Muslim." I mean, it was a flawless performance. I mean, very beautifully presented today's time scenario. I mean, very thoughtful content. I feel so. I never thought that comedy can be uh, impart so much wisdom and insight, but. his energy speech delivery and uh, uh, what i love most his smiling face and the way he expresses his body language superb and uh, uh, mostly i like uh, that abdul kalam uh, joke was a highlight i mean the punch one and uh, also like uh, once in an hour sundar pichai school name kept changing and uh, then it was uh, what was that a uh, poor upper middle class family uh, how that become a cramped three bedroom apartment so yes a uh, very uh, these these are the fact and uh, we don't realize it but it's a great courage for him to do this in a comedy way and uh, give us some lessons so i was going little low uh, from yesterday but uh, watching this honestly aravinda you swipe out all the worries i had from yesterday and uh, also i would like to thank you tr balugiri ji i would like to express my gratitude for uh, staying with us and uh, secondly that because of you maybe along with me so many people just loved so you just brought a smile in our face okay so that's all for today i would like to say please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment so that our video you reach us to many people and we can do more 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 better videos please in this covid time dear stay safe and uh, yes uh be happy spread positiveness thank you <laughs>